Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and RPG Maker MV version 1.3 is out. So it appears we've gone from Pixie 2 to Pixie 4 and the core engine. There's been a few changes to the way graphics are handled, and it looks like the sound engine has been updated. Uh, I'm going to give you a link to Yanfly's website for the full uh, disclosure on everything that's happened. Uh, that's been changed, so look for that link in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your projects to, to use the current version of RPG Maker MV, which is 1.3. If you create a new project, then it's going to be automatically 1.3 if you've updated it. If you're using Steam and you don't know how to update, go to your Steam under Applications, and you're going to go to Properties, and you'll see Updates. And you can choose to keep this up, uh, up to date automatically, or only update it when I launch the application so you're settings will be right here. In order to uh, change, uh, if, if you've uh, made changes to your uh, your generator, you want to back that up before you update it. So if you're making changes to your generator, you might want to change the way that this is handled. I just keep it update, uh, updated at all times, so because um, I don't really mess with the generator. But um, how you would uh, go about making a backup and everything, you could just go to properties here. Under local files, you can browse local files. It'll take you to the Steam directory for where it's at, and you'll see a, a folder called generator. Right click that, copy that, and then paste that to another folder, and you'll have a backup of your generator. Once you've got the backup of that, um, you can basically create a new game. Uh, turn on the, the updates, update the game, click on launch, and it'll launch the application. It should have uh, updated by now. And your current projects are not going to be version 1.3, even though you've updated the software to version 1.3. And it's really easy to do this. Um, so here's Dungeons of Driftwood and still version 1.2 of MV. Um, but in order to update it to version 1.3, I'd have to replace some files. So in order to get those files, all we have to do is create a new project. So we're just going to call this, uh, uh, you know, new project, doesn't matter. We're going to generate a new project. We're going to open the game folder here and then we're gonna replace those files. Um, but before we actually you know, copy paste these files into our version 1.2 or prior version game, we wanna make a backup of those as well. So this is opened up, we're gonna to go to game open folder. We're gonna to go to the JS folder here. And all of these uh, uh, JavaScript files except for plugin.js. Plugins.js will overwrite all your settings, so it's really important that you exclude this one unless you want to reset all of your plugins uh, settings back to default. Most likely that's not the case. So here's going to be our version 1.3. I'm going to copy these and I'm going to put them in a folder and I'm just going to call this folder um, MV 1.3 uh, files. We'll just paste them in here for now. So this is the the, the files we're gonna paste into our uh, older version game. So we'll close this project. We'll open up the project we want to use to update. So let's just find that really quick. We'll go into the JS plugins, or actually, we we'll just uh, open the game here. And then from here, we can go to open folder and go to the JS, and we have all of these. Uh, scripts right here. So what we're going to do is take the new files from uh, version 1.3, right click those, copy these, and paste those into here. But before we do this, we want to make a backup of this. So a good idea would to be take the entire folder, copy your entire game folder, and put it on another hard drive or uh, somewhere. Make a backup of your game before you do any changes like that. Um, it's always a good idea to back up your game because you're putting hours of work into it and hard drives crash, you know, stuff happens. So you could always just uh, upload it to a cloud or put it on an uh, external hard drive or something like that. So that's what we're doing here. We're just going to take the entire folder and put it into a backup on a different hard drive. So once this is done, we're going to go back into uh, our game folder and we're going to replace the JS files with the version 1.3 files. <clears throat> so if you want a full listing of everything that's been changed, like I said before, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can see all of the updates that have uh, changed. Yanfly's uh, updated us on all of the changes in the JavaScript files, so I'm going to link you to his website. Okay, there we go. Looks like this is about to be finished. We've got our backup of our game. Really simple, really easy. Let's go into our game folder here inside of our JS. We're going to take these, fold these files, 
copy these and paste these into our game folder. It's going to ask if we want to replace, and we do want to replace. You can do this for all the next uh, conflicts, copy and replace. So now we've updated all of these files. So now this game, uh, once we uh, close the project and open the project again, it's now running version 1.3 of MV for this particular project. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you have a special request, put it in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.